with climbing up the rungs on our mast here with binoculars. Why, you may ask? Well, we are headed under the Woodrow Wilson Bridge in DC, and the Woodrow Wilson Bridge has a vertical clearance of 75 feet. Our mast height is 69 feet, so it shouldn't be a problem for us, but our buddy boat has a mast height of 74 feet, so it's gonna be really close for them. So we waited at National Harbor until low tide. It is now low tide, so that should give them an extra two, two and a half feet. So I'm climbing up to the top of the rungs and I'm looking with my binoculars and I'm gonna tell them when I see a gap between their mast and the bottom of the bridge. So here I go. Day one of our trip up the Potomac River. You ready for our long sail today? Is it a yes? How about you, Mocha? You just got clipped in. We're getting ready to take off. What do you think? You ready? How about you, Nubis? You ready for our sail today? No. Yeah, gonna be a lot of sleeping. We start up from Solomon's Island on a cold September morning. Good morning. So where are we heading to today? We are going to St. Mary's. And it is cold. We're not I used know. To it's cold. Really, it's just the middle of September and it got a cold one. We are uh, buddy boating today with our good friends, the Drapers. Mojo is the name of their vessel. They're very experienced sailors. We are enjoying their company immensely. They're trying, a lot of fun. Trying to learn something from them. Learn something. I was just telling Stephanie, he's kind of like a big brother right now because I want to make sure I kind of keep up with him and when he does something that I don't understand, I want to know so that I can kind of stay up with him. And we're going to hit a lighthouse. What's the name of the lighthouse we're going to go by? <laughs> Are, can, can, we, can we restate that? We're not going to hit a lighthouse. We are going to have a lighthouse go to our starboard side by about 500 feet or more. What's so the anyway. name of the lighthouse? Uh, it is Point No Point. Oh, very good. I was quizzing you. Yeah. I didn't even remember. If you haven't noticed, I really don't keep up with the uh, with the names of anywhere. She just kind of points to where they go. I put a marker and forget their name. So it is uh, four nautical miles, and I can see it from here. It's gusted up to probably 28, 29 nautical miles. And we were coming out of the Patuxent from uh, Solomon's this morning. We were hauling. We were hitting our reefing limits, but was able to uh, come around the point and start running downwind. So we were back in the limits. But anyway, it's been a wonderful sail. We're going minimum of six and a half and all the way up to nine and a half and maybe even 10 knots right now. So it's a uh, very fast to sail today. It's just dialed in, we're enjoying it. Point No Point Lighthouse has a caisson foundation with a cast iron cylinder atop it and an octagonal brick dwelling surmounting the cylinder. The lighthouse has a focal height of 52 feet. The lighthouse was put up for auction in 2007, but the bidding was canceled when they realized that the lighthouse serves as a bounty marker for the Navy's aerial firing range and target area. It's sailing and plans always change. Because the wind conditions were so good, we passed the inlet for St. Mary's and continued along the Potomac to anchor off Cobbs Island for a day's total of 54 nautical miles. Who's the best dad in the entire world? <gasps> okay, Mocha. All right, Wala. There you go, Nubis. More? Look what's in my hands. Look what's in my hands. Everybody who loves dad, look at him. You're so serious about how much you love me. Oh, look at all this. Day two of our trip up the Potomac River.
Good morning. Good morning. Do you hear those roosters? Yeah. <laughs> what did you think of our setting last night for our anchorage? Uh, it was nice. I was worried we were a little uh, too close to inquest, but no, we were fine. It was very uh, calm. Yes, it's beautifully calm. You know, it's so nice sleeping on anchor sometimes versus being at a marina because it, it can be it's so choppy sometimes at the marinas and you hear the sloshing of the water. Well, that and you're, not, you're never pointing into the wind. So yeah. that the... Where are we going today? We are going up to, what's the name of the bay? Oh yeah, Wade's Bay. Wade's Hopefully Bay. stopping at a Namjaboy Purse State Park, the beach there. If we're going to do that, we need to get going. On day two, we start at Cobbs Island and head up the Potomac to Purse Park, where we make a brief stop before continuing to Woman Creek, where we anchor for the night. So it is day two of our sail up the Potomac River. We stayed at Cobb Island last night. This morning at 7.30, what was the wind like? It was dead. <laughs> it has slowly been dying out, and uh, it's the it's the doldrums of August and September. Right now, there's about one knot of wind, though we have our head sail out because we're, we're motoring at five knots, and we're making our own apparent wind. And believe it or not, when you put your head sail out, even though you're driving into it, it actually helps propel you because you get forward momentum by sailing your head sail out in dead wind. Yeah, we probably gained, what, point, point 0.2 knots? Point 0.2, point 0.3 <laughs> knots. But, you know, when you're burning diesel, that, uh, that gets you there quicker and uh, saves you a little money. Yeah, we're all snuggled up together. You taking a nap with them? Good girl. Your tail's flapping. Oh, you want to be a good girl too? Thank you, Blue Good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. At the mouth of the Potomac, the Potomac River Test Range starts and continues to the Dahlgren Don't Naval Facility. This is the only spot in the nation where weapons fired from shore can be tracked and tested over vast expanse of water. While we are in this area, we are hailed by a range control boat. Yes, sir. Okay, the first point of interest for you today, everything is going to be on the Maryland side here to keep you out of harm's way. Uh, you're going to see a white dime shaped shawl marker here off of Swamp Point. It's uh, dead off your bow about a mile and a half or so. Do you see that? Yes, sir, I see that. I believe I see it too. Okay, what I'll get you to do is uh, hold that off your starboard. Uh, once you round that one, I need you to get stay inside of the yellow Navy maintained O buoy, Oscar, which is also on Swamp Point. And once both of you get a beam, the Oscar buoy, I'm going to have you get to head further to the Maryland side. We, up river from that is a Q buoy, Quebec. Roger, Lab Mariner sees Q buoy. Lab, I'm going to follow you. I'm having a hard time. Okay, go ahead, sir. And rise to that, and I, like I say, I'll get you to run right straight to that Q buoy and get that off your port, and then you can angle back out to buoy 30, tall red fixed on lower cedar point. Roger, I see 30 and 32. And you'll hold those normal navigation, and once you round 32, you can run for the large span of the bridge, and you will be clear. Roger that, sir. Fantastic. Thank you, sir. We continue along the path prescribed by the range control boat, and after about a half an hour, we are finally informed that we are clear. Shortly after we pass the range test area, we come to the Harry M. Nice Memorial Bridge. This is the first bridge that crosses the Potomac, about 40 nautical miles upstream. The bridge has a vertical clearance of 135 feet, so we pass under it easily, though it seems close. And watching our buddy boat pass under the bridge doesn't make it look like there's an additional 60 feet above their mast. 
We head up the Potomac another 20 nautical miles before making a brief stop at Wade's Bay. Wade's Bay is a short dinghy ride to the beach on Purse Park, where on a previous visit we found several shark's teeth. You guys can be helpful. You guys helping? Picked it right out of the water without even thinking. And here too. <laughs> They're too easy. And here too. Just point to one when you see one again. <laughs> oh my God! No. No, point no, to it no, before no, no. picking it up. No, I'm sorry. That was a huge one. I was oh. like, no way. <laughs> All right, so we're in here. We're long here. I'm looking for black and long. There's, these are black and long, but they're, they're not the right kind of shape yet. Like here, you see that? That's a little baby one right oh, there. Yeah, yeah. Because it makes it a little triangular. That is the smallest that one. That is the smallest one we've seen. Here. <laughs> Can you right show there. me what there. Here's one too. Right here. have you been fossil hunting? Up and down the east coast. Where? The shores, when we were growing up, just the regular beach had shark's teeth, but now they've all been... North Carolina? Yep, North Carolina, South Carolina. I'm at Perth State Park with the pups, and we have actually anchored out, and we dingied over here because we had so much fun last time looking for fossils. And I'm walking the dogs, and Jim has gotten pretty addicted to the fossil hunting thing. So he's walking up and down on the beach <laughs> looking for more. You are serious. You're even getting in the water. So I'm guessing there are probably, we've seen quite a few here. I'm guessing one of the reasons is because people haven't been able to make it down here for a while. And they haven't picked over these. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. That tree looks like it's been down for a while. I think you can only access this by... take a picture of me uh, so people can tell me I'm on the wrong side of the ding. After pulling up our anchor, we have another 10 nautical miles before we reach Mattawoman Creek, where we plan to anchor for the night. Along the way, we pass under an expanse of overhead power lines with a vertical clearance of 170 feet. Yeah, not even close. And there's like another mast Free. <laughs> you can fit another mast in there. <laughs> exactly. Two of us were stacked on top of each other, maybe. Stacked two of those babies on top of each other. It is way up there. <laughs> we reach Matter Woman Creek, and surprisingly, we find ourselves anchored next to the two same boats we had anchored next to at Cobbs Island. The third and final day of our trek up the Potomac River. So we are on day three of our trek up the Potomac River. And we just anchored last night at Mattawoman Creek, and it was very quiet, very nice oh, yeah. anchorage. And we woke up this morning to leave, and we're starting to pull up our anchor, and we found that it was covered in a grass-like substance. Yeah. When we say covered, it was 300 pounds <laughs> at least of water and this floating plant life. And what did you say? It was water lettuce? Yeah, so I actually had to look it up, and when I looked it up on the Potomac, of all places, it said in that specific creek, it's known for it, it's growing uh, readily. It was on everybody's vessel. It was, I mean, literally 300 pounds, and trying to pull it up was impossible. So we got our boat hook out and we took 30 minutes trying to get it all <laughs> off. Uh, it was so we are now on our way. We've got how many nautical miles are we going today? Today's a short day. Yeah, uh, total uh, about 28. We're gonna go about 18 up to National, National Harbor. Harbor. And we've gotta wait it out for a while because yeah. low tide today is uh, three, a little after three. We have to wait it out because we then have to transit a bridge. The Woodrow Wilson Bridge. Right. And it is 76 feet high. Now our mass is 69, 70. 
and our buddy boat partners, uh, their mass is like 74. And in any of these situations, you want to be very, very safe. So we're going to wait for low tide, which will add an extra two, two and a half feet of uh, clearance. So we're up to 78 and a half feet. Uh, and 78, 78 and a half feet, and they have a 74 foot mast. So, uh, when we've gone under a number of different uh, bridges and power lines, when you look up, <laughs> you may you may have 100 feet above you where the where the bridge is, and your uh, mast is in our case 70 feet tall. That 30 feet only looks like five feet. You just <laughs> cannot see the difference. So after today, we're going to have two days of rest. No, no sailing for a few days, so that'll be that'll be nice. Uh, with my wife, <laughs> if she says rest, it just means we're going to be doing something different. On day three, we continue our sail up the Potomac River, making a brief stop at National Harbor before heading to Washington Channel to anchor for the night. Jim is more than a little surprised to find a bald eagle perched on a green can. We pass Mount Vernon, the historic home of George and Martha Washington, on our port side. We pass Fort Washington and its lighthouse on our starboard side. Fort Washington was built to defend the river approach to Washington, D.C. during the Mexican War and the Civil War. As we get closer to Washington, D.C., we encounter more and more logs and other trash in the water and find ourselves having to avoid the debris. So guys, we're going to be in National Harbor in about 30 minutes. What do you guys think of that? Very excited. I know you just got up from your nap, didn't you? Oh, you got a stretch going in. Oh, you should be ready. We turned into the marina at National Harbor where we spent a few hours waiting for low tide. It is now time for me to head up the mast to see if I can determine whether our buddy boat's mast will clear the bridge. After our buddy boat clears the bridge, it is now our turn to head under the Woodrow Wilson Bridge, which we know that we can easily pass under. We settle into our anchorage in the Washington Channel for the night. Make sure to join us next week when we visit Washington, D.C. with the Lab Mariners.